can you guys see what this is? This is my phone charger. I had it plugged in to this hole right here and plugged into an outlet, not like the regular outlet, but the cord plugs into, you know, like a USB port. So it was plugged into that and I had no idea that during the middle of the night when I came out in the morning I found my charger in this condition take a look at this can you see how there's a big bite taken out of it like leaving the piece of metal exposed this whole chunk melted and on the back side it's damaged you can see there see that it melted pretty severely and on the end you could see it's all melted and buckled up there leaving a nice scorch mark on the desk so this is how it did look on this side and now it looks like that if I can get it in the camera right so sometime overnight night before last while I was sleeping this thing was either on fire with some flames coming up and I did not know it or it just slowly melted itself but I could smell something in the air but I didn't know what it was and apparently this is what was happening and that's and my friend Jay said that was the lithium battery that burned it up so I don't know how good you can see that on camera, but anyway, people putting these uh, chips with the lithium battery in their hand, that thing just did that on its own, and it wasn't even the side that was plugged in. It was the side that wasn't plugged in that melted. If that had been something, a chip in your hand or whatever, can you imagine how, oh, that would just be excruciating. So now I do not have my phone charger working where I can charge my cell phone if I have to walk somewhere and I need to charge it. And that leads me to talk about things like the smart meters and you know one of the things that they always tried to do with our home was put a digital thermostat on the wall and my mom had it done and was against it but she knew it was leading to something else where they could shut off your thermostat and she had the manual one put back in the wall and that's how it was left when our home was sold so they're trying to do all of these things where they can control appliances and control things that you know they have the energy star and they're trying to reduce the carbon footprint with all of this technology that they're putting in where they will eventually have the ability like with the electric cars they can literally shut off the electricity so you can't charge your car I mean people need to think outside the box of what's possible with these things before they come to pass and they're stuck which brings me to the point of this video which is about this general electric appliances uh, JNS.org reported that a new line of refrigerators to include built-in tech for Shabbat compliance. What's going to happen when the Antichrist is seated over there in Jerusalem and they put the Sanhedrin as the world court? Are they not going to cause people to have to comply with whatever their wishes are and remember when you have a monarchy and this is what was going on in ancient times I just was listening to Benny Johnson talking about King George and how you know they came over here to get away from King George and that the people had no say they had no control they were under a monarchy the king dictated everything that the people had to comply with and the people were not free 
That's why they came over. That's why they wrote the Declaration of Independence and the Bill of Rights was so that people would be free and not under a tyrannical reign of a king. So here we have this new line of refrigerators to include built-in tech for Shabbat compliance. GE Appliances, in partnership with OU Kosher, will roll out dozens of models with updated Shabbat mode technology. Written by Mike Wagenheim. So they show a picture of the director of the OU Kosher Technology, Rabbi Zvi Ortner, with President and CEO of GE Appliances, Kevin Nolan, at GE Appliances headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. And it says, written January 22nd, 2023. A year after introducing a line of ovens that allowed for automated use during Shabbat, General Electric Appliances is preparing to roll out refrigerators and freezers with the same built-in technology. The line of 45 top freezer refrigerators is to include manually operated built-in enhanced Shabos mode called EHM. Products with the feature will include the Orthodox Union, which is the OU kosher symbol, on the product and will be certified by both the OU and the Central Rabbinical Congress known as the CRC. Improving access to kosher certified appliances is in keeping with our mandate to support kosher observance, said Rabbi Menachem Ganach, CEO of the OU Kosher. We're pleased to be a part of this important collaboration that offers consumers another option to maintain cash roots in their homes. The EHM function automates the cooling or heating system, cutting off the electrical flow through the door switches and automating sensors so computers can't turn on any systems when opening or closing the door. That includes touch screens, water dispensers, and in some models, ice makers. Additionally, it controls interior lights, which stay on throughout Shabbat at lower brightness levels. The technology was developed through OU Kosher's partnership with Zaman Technologies, or Z-Man, I'm not sure which, which is now working to develop an app to control the functionality of smart appliances with EHM. Rabbi Zvi Ortner, who heads OU's Kosher Technology Department, has been working on Shabbat mode tech for the past eight years and began partnering with General Electric Appliances CEO Kevin Nolan five years ago. Simply unscrewing refrigerator light bulbs isn't really an option anymore now that refrigerators are more sophisticated and use LED lighting, Ordner said. The new GEA refrigerators will include EHM so that Jews have no issues without cutting corners and without any drama. Currently, all other OU kosher certified refrigerator platforms from General Electric Appliances, such as Monogram, Profile, and Cafe models, require Z-Man Technologies, Shabos Keeper for EHM, a Shabos Keeper device, plugs into the data port of the refrigerator, automatically setting it to EHM each week then back to weekday mode after Havdalah on Saturday evening. When people think of kosher, they typically think about food, said Rabbi Moshe Elephant, COO of OU Kosher. 
This development shows yet another way we're evolving with the needs of kosher consumers and expanding in the realm of technology. The new models are expected to be available at local appliance dealers in March. People have said that some of these smart devices have caught on fire and the lithium batteries in the electric cars have been known to catch fire and catch houses on fire. And this device caught on fire without my knowledge and completely consumed this big chunk out of this unit. Can you see it? So it's completely ruined. The light's not really shining on it too good here. I didn't do one thing to make that catch on fire. It was plugged in the regular way. It was plugged in on the other side that's not damaged. And that thing just decided to catch on fire in the middle of the night. I had no idea I was asleep. And the cord is not damaged because it was on this side that's not damaged. But the battery must have been over on this part that's a lithium battery where it burned up. So it could have been a very dangerous situation for me. But thankfully the Lord was looking out for me. And now I can't use it. I have no charger. So that's a bummer. Um, so they're, you know, putting forth controlling the ovens, controlling the refrigerators. And you know where all this leads. If you're going to have this Sanhedrin become the world supreme court and they want you to comply with the 666 of carbon footprint you know and the king puts his royal cipher which means zero and he's net zero then it all comes together and shows what kind of control they can have you know one of the first things I remember and I don't know if you all know this but you know, we had water heaters in our house, and there was a point when the water heater went out. And we noticed that when they put in the new water heater, and this was several years back, you know, before my mom died and our house was sold, um, they were putting in the new water heater, and we noticed that it did not heat the water very warm not like the old version that we had where we had really nice hot water that you could really sterilize things with it but we found out that these parts were being made in Mexico new parts and they were generated so that you had limited ability to heat your water so it wasn't as good a heater as in the old days because they don't want you to be able to heat your water and you know sterilize things so I've noticed you know even when you go use a restroom faucet someplace in a restaurant or someplace out and about um, their water will just be cold water you'll be washing your hands under so you're not really sterilizing germs off of your hands and um, it's just another feature of control gradually setting it up to where they can control your thermostat in your house because they're all paranoid about the energy use they put that energy star on all the appliances years ago as well and the other thing was the thermostats that were digital that they started putting in and taking out the manual ones and that way they can digitally control it and they can shut off your heat if you're using too much in the future. So just something to be aware of. You know, when I say that the Sanhedrin plans to be the world supreme court and they're putting these kosher laws into place where they can control your refrigerator and an oven and you can have certain settings and you have to be complying with all of it, then that leads to a world dictatorship and takes away our freedoms as citizens and individuals. 
Anyway, this is really interesting news, so I thought I would share it. And anybody that got that chip in their hand that has a lithium battery, if that caught on fire like this plastic completely melted, and I wish you could see it better because I'm not getting a good shot of it here, but let me see if I can get my flashlight to shine on it. I really wasn't able to get a good shot of the chunk that melted out of there. But here it is with my flashlight on it. You can see how it's buckled and melted. And it was not plugged in on this side. It was on this side that's the way that it used to look. So look at that. Look how damaged that is and plastic melted. And if I turn it over, and here you can see the flip side. And th it used to look like this side. So that's how much damage happened while I was sleeping and that could have really been dangerous lighting the room on fire but I had it laid out by itself charging on the desk so that's incredible damage now I have to replace this so I have a charger yeah, I depended on it when my car broke down and I had this to charge my phone and it really comes in handy to have one. But I had no idea it would light on fire like that through the lithium battery. And anybody that has that chip in their hand that has the lithium battery, God forbid that thing catch on fire in your hand. Um, I don't know what you would do about that situation. So anyway, I just wanted to share how this technology is putting in place more and more constrictions and compliances, and you must comply, and if you don't comply, here's your fine, and, you know, this is what's coming down the road. So I just thought I'd share, just thought I'd show you what happened. My cord is still in good condition, which is good. Um, it didn't ruin that, it just ruined this part. So, yeah, I gotta get a replacement at some point here when I can get a ride to get somewhere. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I just thought I'd tell you about this. So, I'll talk to you later. God bless you.